I take uh, photographs of uh, uh, new accessions. Um, I don't do all the new accessions these days. The, the, the bread and butter stuff the girls at the landing tend to do. I do the, the tricky things, you know, either because they're very big, very small, or they have some characteristic that makes them difficult to photograph. Because the shutter speed, because you're using a small aperture, there's not much light going into the sensor. So for that reason, you can use a fairly long shutter speed, so a third of a second. Okay. So, so just move that about until you get it in the right place. Okay. okay. That was the small one. If it comes, there's no name. No one's given it a name yet. So. I've seen the technology change over the years from uh, black and white photography, which was the only type of black and white film photography that we did when we first, uh, when I first came here. 35 millimeter and uh, large format, medium format, uh, with a dark room, um, and uh, mostly black and white. We didn't do very much in color. And I've seen the changes to digital. Uh, and we were not the earliest, but we did change over to digital gradually in the, in the 1990s, basically. You know. So it was that one, Etlinger, and Magic Box C116. C116. I mean, this is a research museum. You know, it's uh, it's always been it's always collected objects and images for research purposes. So the importance of you know the quality or sort of the professionalism of the, the photograph has never been utmost. It's been the research potential, you know, of that photograph to sit sit alongside teaching and research, and that's still an important criterion, really. Um, and so it's grown. And so it's a very large collection. There, so a uh, quarter of a million images. It's always collected photography from it, you know, right from the outset. Um, but it's just not been something which has been put on permanent display very much, or only occasionally for illustration alongside the the objects on display, as you know, to illustrate context or usage. Usually, how they were used or worn or. Well, um, in terms of looking for any images which might complement. Uh, amulets that are on display in the museum for a, mm. a trail. Um, there was a couple of things in the Arkel um, material relating to Tuareg. Okay. Um, use of amulets. I can find it. So. This is the one. That's the one. So I think you know the museums. The museums used you know used its photograph collections for illustration and context in the museum space ever since you know it was founded, and we're going to continue to do that you know um, into the future.